Hello and welcome to another edition of the Market Street Studio. I am Register Reporter Andy Oriel. Joining me today are two very special guests that tie together to a special exhibit happening at Carrington Arts debuting this weekend. Uh, to my immediate left is Karen Hampton, the featured artist of that exhibit. To my far left is Marsha Carrington, the owner of Carrington Arts. Thank you both for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So Marsha, we'll start with you. Tell us about this exhibit and just give us a little preview of what people can expect if they come see it. Um, it's, the exhibit is um, it's special for the Bicentennial and it focuses on the abolitionists and also some of other Karen's work focuses on what she calls historical narratives and um, it's based on her own research into her ancestry and um, when I learned about Karen through her sister who's a good friend of ours um, and started looking at her work, I thought it would be the perfect show for the Bicentennial. Um, so I s kind of started working back in 2016, I think it was, to try to make this show happen. So it's, a, um, uh, it's divided into three different areas um, of, for the, this particular work. Okay, and Erin, our producer today's show, if she could, we had a front page article about it. if you wanna take a look at it with the camera, there you go. So there's some, this is a small preview of what you could expect. And Karen, uh, tell us a little bit about the pieces that you submitted for the gallery. Why is this something you're so passionate about? Well, I would say that it really has happened, everything's happened in my life very serendipitously. Um, beginning when I entered grad school in 1998 and it so happened I was giving a lecture on my work and someone asked me in my line of work why is it that I only see looms in black people's homes and that question led me to really begin to study slavery which led me um, about two years later to really start looking at my own family history and and going from there and then really at this point I work from a sense of place and so I began working with abolitionists because I was having an exhibition in central New York and I said the only things I know about central New York at the time were that Harriet Tubman lived in Auburn and Frederick Douglass in Rochester. My hometown, so. <laughs> So that's what led me into the depths and the belly okay. of the beast. Very good. So, and I have to read this because I cannot remember it verbatim. It's a very long title. Karen Hampton presents the light of freedom, stories of African-American threads of my family, their journeys towards freedom, and the abolitionists. So when people walk into Carrington Arts starting this weekend, what will they see? And what types of work did you create for this gallery? Um, there are six abolitionists. And I chose six that, um, that I felt either had a very national presence or they had, um, they had a presence in Ohio. Okay, great. And then Marsha, with 2018 being Sandusky's bicentennial and the prominent role Sandusky played in the Underground Railroad, why did you think that this was a perfect fit both for the artist and the timing to have this show? There's a lot of reasons, but I, I think when I found out about the Bicentennial, I always knew that I wanted to do a show on the Underground Railroad. We live next door to the Sloan House, and so we've always been really fascinated with the history of that house and Rush R. Sloan, who was an abolitionist in Sandusky. And also, I think because there is so much division in our country right now, um, even though I can only play a tiny little part, I wanted to be a part of bringing our community, which is a very diverse community, together. And I thought this was a good opportunity to do that with this show. And when I saw Karen's work, it just was very, very powerful to me and very moving. And it's educational, too. I've learned so much about these stories through her work. Um, so um, I think it's a really special show, and I think it's perfect for um, the Bicentennial, given our rich history of the Underground Railroad. Okay. And, Karen, what do you think about Sandusky's history with the Underground Railroad? 
Oh, I think it's really interesting. Um, until I started speaking with Marsha, I had no idea, but then I started checking out all your, you know, all the history of the town, and I was like, oh, this is pretty interesting. Oh, I kind of like this. I like the way that it fits. Yeah, there were a lot of... You know, I think yeah. that there's so many of these communities that I think that, you know, going back to what Marsha said about it being, you know, the troubled times that we're in, I think that it's really, really, really important to look at and remember the histories that are behind it. And when I, I've done a lot of research this year for the Bicentennial for the Register's coverage, and I thought it was fascinating just how many people did help people achieve their freedom in Sandusky. There were so many, there were literally dozens of people in so many houses that these runaway slaves stayed at to ensure their freedom to Canada, which I think is really cool about this area. One last plug, so the gallery debuts Friday? Friday from 6 to 9 is the opening. It's free to the public. Um, it's, like I said, it's going to be a really special show. It is a special show, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that people will come out and see it. And if they can't make it Friday, the exhibit is open until when? It goes on through July 21st. Okay, and any final words uh, to encourage people to check out the exhibit? Um, I just think that it's it's really different. It's all based on historical narrative and, and first-person stories. I think that it's, like I said, it's a really moving show. It's very um, enlightening. Um, and I think that you'll learn something. There's a little bit of history with the pieces. So I think that it's a show that people will really enjoy. Um, so I'm hoping people will come out and see it. Well, Marsha, Karen, thank you so much for joining us on the Market Street Studio. We really appreciate it, and we're glad to support both the arts and the history of Sandusky in any way possible. So, thank once, you, thank no you. problem. Once again, I'm Andy Oriel with the Register. Thank you for watching this edition of the Market Street Studio.